Today, we're going to bring a Ray router. This is a Wi-Fi 6. It's capable of handling any kind of gaming you have or streaming that you're going to require. Now, this one has a couple of things off the bat that it comes with. Uh, they give you an extra little small RJ45. It's not too long. Uh, the power cord itself, and including the instructions, they are very thorough, very simple to set up. Uh, inside, you're going to find that you are going to have to download the application if you want to control more features out of your phone. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual router itself. The router itself, it's not that heavy. It's all plastic based. Uh, you could fold out a couple of the antennas all over and it. behind it, you're going to find an indentation. So you can hang this on the wall and rubber legs also to include it. Now, also, there's going to be plenty of ventilation underneath of it. So these intend to get hot or anything uh, during gaming time or too many too much bandwidth. Uh, it's perfect for that. It has plenty of ventilation for this. This router is capable of handling 2.5 gigabytes per second. So this is going to be a overkill for anybody in this household. I don't have a two gig gigabyte bandwidth in my house but if i ever do this is the router to actually maintain that this router will work for any kind of small business that, that has that kind of bandwidth now including with it there's a couple features you should be aware the ports itself it shows you all the indication they're very highlighted and they also feature some information that you be aware now here where it says gaming this is going to be a dedicated bandwidth so if you have a home that there's a lot of people streaming and playing games and other this is the actual port that's going to maintain the same speeds it's going to lower down everybody else when this one keeps it open not only that it has ports open for voip and other gaming sources that you need require too and also streaming if you ever purchase another isp provider you can always dual ban on this one and combine it into one it's very simple you can do that through the instructions if you forget the password or, or you want to re do a factory reset, there's a reset button here power cord here and also your router which your main isp provider is going to be connected here but if you have a secondary and this is going to be a secondary router it's recommended to connect in the second port all right you can control all the bandwidth on every single port if you have certain people connected and you don't want them to go over the limit this is a way you can do it within the application or the browser we're going to connect it and take a look at a couple of features and do some testing here all right we're going to go ahead and set up and then right right now off the bat when we set up the application is asking we could add the device or we could just log in within our device itself. So make sure you create an account with them. All right, let's go ahead and turn open the program itself. I'm gonna show you some of the great features that you can do on the actual phone with the phone settings. Now on the phone right now, we see the same thing that we just saw in our browser, pretty much our speeds, uh, our testing and so forth, how many devices are connected and so, so forth. So right now we do have a desktop and we do have my phone connected and then you're seeing my phone as it is right now. We're gonna go home. On scenarios, we're gonna see a couple of things that you can do in here. And I like this because you could change the modes in here. So if you have to work from home, you could turn off and you could lower the bandwidth on everybody except for your machine. So you could make sure you're going to get those into those Zoom calls, into those calls that you need that are very important for you, video conferencing and so forth. So that's where you have to control a lot of these parental guides. Um, we're going to go in here. I'm going to agree to the services. Now it's asking us, who do you want to mess with? <laughs> and this is pretty much where you come down and you go allow, you could block, you could schedule times and so forth. So right now we're not going to make any changes to that. We're going to go into the next setting, which is game turbo. And this is where you, who do you want to pick to make sure that it's enabled into that and, and that category. And this is something that's great. You could always add a, a pool of people. So if you're having a LAN party and you want to make sure everybody's getting the LAN, the proper settings, this is where you come into now health mode this is a great thing because it tells you if you have issues with your network uh of a distance of, of certain services have to be connected so if you have cameras all over your house what camera is going to be reaching to the system so this is where you actually find all that information we're going to go into wi-fi this is where you enable certain connections to pop out and change the password on the systems, all right? So if you don't want to see plenty of the same name over of the network, you can always change it to different categories yourself. So we're going to go back. And what I like to do is I like to do a test. And the test, you can actually do speed tests, and this is where we're going to do it. This is on a Wi-Fi connection, right? So my current version, my current network ISP is 500 by 500. So I'm running through my phone right now. I'm sitting maybe you know, maybe a couple of feet away from the actual router. And this is the actual speeds I'm getting through my phone right now on the Wi-Fi 6. Just remember that you are in Wi-Fi 6 
And if you see that little six, is, is you're going to get a great connection. So we're getting, you know, 487 by 370. So that's not bad connection. But if you run it again, it's going to give you a better quality. Of course, here it gives you a little scenario here of how good of a quality it is. SD, you know, that's the poorest. So the poorest quality, HD, getting a little bit better, 1080. And then full HD, 4K, and then Blu-ray, which is a high definition. We could go, you know, 8K, 4K, and so forth, all right? So uh, no need to delay in gaming. So it's really going to run normal if you're going to be testing this out, which is a great, easy diagnostics out of your phone that you're getting so your kids are complaining you run something this is it updates reboots diagnostics speed tests and led light if it's too sprite for you you can always turn off the led lights from here scenarios and then of course we got all the scenarios we got the settings and we have home of course and that's where you all come in now they have features in here that you go add and, and subtract and you can even add more mesh to your network through your phone everything has to be through your phone or your browser all right, let's take a look at the actual router through the browser. All right, so the password that you set up is the password that you get. Right now, we currently have set up, and now I'll see that there's a bunch of more features that you can do in here. So we're going to go over a couple of things. Right now, we only have one client. If I want to make this as a bridge to another system, you can do this through the here. Uh, there's a couple other things that you know that you should be aware. If you change your IP, you got to make sure you're on the right IP. It has to be 192.168.110. Whatever IP address is that your domain is. But most of the domains are different, all right? It depends on your actual network. Just be very aware if you're going to mesh two different routers, you got to make sure you're all in the same bandwidth so you can make sure that they're all in the same IP so you can make some changes to there. Now, let's go ahead and check out client. On the client right now, we have one desktop that's connected right now, and it's telling you bandwidth how much. And this is the current desktop that I am connected to. Uh, let's go to the internet. Internet here, you see all the IP addresses and all the connections, the main DNS, which is in my secondary router that I have, my primary router, which is probably acting like the DNS course. Uh, Wi-Fi connections, we got our Wi-Fi connections. You can change the password. It actually asks you which Wi-Fi is the one that you want to see, and pretty much all of them are on. The gaming one is the one that's um, it's not throttle, and that's full, fully open. Right now, we have it at a DCP connection, of course, but you can make this a fixed connection, okay, by dropping down and doing a static. It gives you all the information you should be aware. You can change the settings here. Uh, we have our LAN connection IP address. We got our IPTV, which um, we don't have an Ethernet cable connected to that. WAM connection. Uh, block. This is in case you want to block certain things. And, and if you have children or certain IPs that you don't want people to go, you want to blacklist them, this is the perfect way. Uh, radio frequency this is where you have to change it right and there's two broadbands here there's 2.4 and 5 hertz right now it's set to auto so i don't want to be jumping from different domains but i like to split them up because i do own a lot of cameras that actually hold the 2.4 hertz and they need to be on that bandwidth if you put a combination of um combo where it automatically picks up i have issues with that stuff so i like to see keep it separate just a little advice on that if you're going to set something like this vpn now this is more advanced if you have a virtual private network this is if you want to set up your own domain your own uh access and you could actually access from another hotel and so forth and here and um it's, it's a little elaborate to set up but if you're into the network and you're more advanced is something that you might be aware that you can do here. Open IP and so forth. Alert, network, network check. You can start checking in network. See if there's any flaws or any holes or any things that you should be aware. It's all checking out right here. So we're doing a test run on it, which is pretty good. You know, it actually tells you if, the, if you open up some ports and you forgot to close them, your system will find them. You can always tell the system to automatically close them or you have to manually do it. So that's another great thing about um, if that's only if you're more into changing IPs or changing ports because um, either you're managing a web, a hosting or something that you need to make change changing on your VoIP, which I had issues before where I had to make changes to my mesh. So if you guys can see the CPU on the actual system it's about one percent right now but if you have a lot of bandwidth a lot of throttle and stuff you'll see start seeing hot uh, getting picked up and it's and then if you touch your router it's gonna start getting a little warm but that's only if you have major traffic in here if you have more like if lancet if you're having a LAN party um a network party or anything else or you're having multiple zoom calls you're gonna see a lot of this picking up right now but right now it's it's, it's idle not you're not gonna see too much 
All right, we're gonna test this out. I'm taking it out on the on the free on the outside. I'm just not gonna show you my address or any license plates or anything like that. So we're gonna walk sideways. Sorry about that, guys. We'll walk maybe out here to test it out. It's my camera telling me there's something here. We're gonna test again. And right now, I'm probably the furthest away from my house here. And we're gonna test it out right here to see those test beats. And right now, look at this. I'm not even near my house or any, there's like 10 walls between me and the router. And we're still getting connection 500 down. And the, the uploading is where it slows down right now, but I'm impressed with the actual 500 down. That's very good. Um, it's getting 500 by 40. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.